How's everybody doing? God bless. I hope you're all doing well. We'll be live tonight, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. tonight. We'll be going live. It's an update video. This is one hour ago. This is uh, Syrian troops, special mission. Special mission moving. As you can see right here, all the talk is about Israel and what's going down in Israel. One hour ago, it says right here, this is bringing them all down, Joel 3, into the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Some new contacts visit between Syria and Arab countries. Soon, very soon, it says. So this is bringing all nations, Russia, all nations down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat. As it says in Joel 3, as I've talked about. It says right here, the Arabs are in countries are engaging in dialogue with Iran. And this is already happening between Saudi Arabia and Iran. So the back doors, they are in contact. They are going to attack Israel. At the end, Iran, a major military economic ally of Syria, and Syria will be increased contact with most Arab countries, and clash between Syria and Israel will continue. So this is going down they know it's going down. Even Israel knows it's going down. Israel right here, this is what I've been talking about in my videos. The oil fields, the hook in the jaw, you can call it. Hezbollah has all Israel in its range, missile range reports. Right here. It says in here that they will attack them. Israel will attack them before, before... They get all this stuff set up. Taken May 4th, 2022. Credit, Reuters slash Aziz Tahir. The person who made the lives of Lebanon citizens worse is Nasrallah. I hope he stops while he still can. He understands that he needs to be careful. If he challenges us, it will hurt them, he concluded. He also said that U.S. President Joe Biden's trip to the region illustrated how the U.S. does not want a new conflict in the Middle East. He suggested that Hezbollah could gain from this by bringing Iranian oil and gas to Lebanon and that Hezbollah can exploit Lebanon's crisis and the U.S. desire for stability in the region. Nasrallah's threats and statements against Israel ran the usual gamut of claims. He said Israel was afraid to enter Lebanon's territory and that this showed that Hezbollah had deterred Israel. Nasrallah spoke to the media on the 40th anniversary of the establishment of Hezbollah. Thank you, John. John gave me this. Yes, they know what's going down. And they're talking about the gas fields right here. Israel's waiting for a certain time. I believe that's when it's Navy Day right here, as I said. Navy Day is the 30th. Is um, um, Russia is bringing all of its Navy ships to Tarshish and Tyre, as I have been talking about. And it's the 30th and the 31st. This is when I'm looking for this to go down. Right here, this is an M16. They are showing Palestine. It shows there's an M16. Uh, American made M16. M16 right there. They show the, the X on the naval, the anchor on the anchor. Very symbolic of what's going on now. And a sword across the anchor, which is right here. Russia prepares for Navy Day in Tarshish. This is just the 24th. I've showed this before. They're getting ready for, for this is the 30th and the 31st. This is also in Isaiah right here. How are you ships of Tarshish? For the strength has been laid waste. This is when I think this is going down. As I've been talking about for weeks. The 30th and the 31st. So what it says in the Bible right here. 
in the next chapter, chapter 24, it says the whole world's laid waste. This is when I believe it's all going to start. It's going to start in Tarshish, in Syria, and Israel has already talked about knocking out the uh, knocking out Damascus. This is where it all starts. It starts in Israel, and they are all there right now. As it says right here, they even talk about the bombing of the airport in Damascus. It says right here, Israel, this is four hours ago. They show the planes right over here. The planes are protecting it. This is where it's going to go down. They've been having planes fly over it. This is where it's all going to go. It's going to go down in Syria, Syria in Damascus, and Tarshish. I just wanted to have a small video. Yes, we are watching. We are getting close. Stock market went down a lot today. John also sent me some stuff I will be talking about at my live stream. And I hope to see you there. God bless.